Hello beautiful beings, welcome to my channel Rising with Rachel. I am Rachel and together we rise in talking about all things cosmic and consciousness. Y'all, I don't know if you're ready for this because life as we know it on planet Earth is completely about to change as Pluto enters Aquarius on January 20th, 2024. Now it will dip back into Capricorn for a little bit. It permanently goes into Aquarius later in November of 2024. But nonetheless, the shifts are happening and we are going to start seeing small indications of what is going to come over the series of the next 15 to 20 years. First, let's talk about Pluto. So Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth. Now, most people don't think about what has to happen in between the death and rebirth process which is exactly what Pluto is. Pluto is a higher octave of Mars and where Mars clears the path for us and gives us that initial energetic jump to go ahead and get started to start taking action towards whatever direction we're going. It shows us the direction. Pluto teaches us how. It says, oh, these are the bricks we need in order to build a new tower and these are the steps that we need to take in order to put these bricks this specific way to build a new tower. Get this tower looking like the blueprint that we just drew up. But Pluto is not here to just destroy our lives and make everything meaningless and just bring about endless destruction. It takes away the things that are no longer aligned for us in whatever realm of life because it knows that there is something else that is asking to be reborn that is more aligned for us, that is better for our soul, that is more fulfilling, that is more guided towards our purpose, our very reason for incarnating on this planet. So it was about hidden knowledge, wisdom, and power, and it is going to reveal everything that was swept under the rug that is based in authenticity, truth, realness, oneness. Those things that are swept under the rug that are based in light are hidden treasures that are suppressed down by darker, lower vibrational entities such as belief systems, thought patterns, structures, government, and pretty much everything on planet Earth that contributes to the matrix that we live in. Pluto wants those things out from under the rug because it knows that that is where not only you are heading, but where Earth is heading, okay? New Earth is already here. New Earth is already existing in the fifth dimension, and now it is working its way down into the third dimensional reality that we live in through our awarenesses, through our thought patterns, through our belief systems that are all changing individually and adding up collectively to these grand massive changes because it knows that that is where we as ones and us as a whole is going. We are all raising our vibration internally as well as collectively as a society and therefore raising the vibration of planet Earth. We are literally guiding her and she is guiding us as this is a symbiotic, hand-holding, beautiful, loving relationship into this existence rooted in love, in source energy, the truth and all of oneness that is. But Pluto's gonna make us uncomfortable. It's gonna rock our world because it needs to bring about the things that are suppressed to us that are in our subconscious, right? Pluto rules the psyche so it's going to go deep into our brains and bring out all of the things the pains the traumas the frustrations that we feel individually and collectively so that we can make change so that we can make actual true change on an atomic level okay we are about transmutation we are not just putting a band-aid on things no we're breaking down the whole structure we're saying why does that thing even exist in the first place and how can we make sure that never happens again Pluto's a bit dramatic it is either black or white there is no in between with Pluto it's either we are changing everything or we are changing nothing and guess what baby dolls we are changing everything and the signs are already showing themselves look at the collective upheaval that's happening with Israel and Palestine look at the CIA documents that have come out about UFOs and aliens and literal hearing the government had about aliens that no one batted an eye to what just happened in the Miami mall all of the Epstein files that are being released Pluto is going to bring the darkness into the light themes thoughts belief systems structures everything that is not based in authenticity and truth and is here for collective growth is going to crumble things like celebrities and Hollywood that's going down in the next 50 years I'll give you my prediction there is not going to be celebrity anymore and we can already kind of see that right we have been given signs for example the fact that influencers have been more celebrity than the 2010s when the peak was Rihanna and Katy Perry and Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga like we have seen signs of the downfall. you've been waking up during this time you've been seeing this you've been realizing this entire process you've been internally picking up with your little psychic antenna the signs that the collective is about to change that we are about to shift our priorities our belief systems our morals we're stepping more and more every day into truth in order for the truth to come out things have to fall down first right in order for a new tower to be rebuilt one has to completely burn down an easy example let's focus on celebrity right in the early 2010s when the peaks were lady gaga justin bieber rihanna all those big name people that you associate wow those were the it people 
completely just like died off. Sure, they're all doing their own thing, absolutely. But it is not peak celebrity as it was in the early 2010s when you were sat waiting for the MTV Video Music Awards, seeing whose performance, who's collabing with who and who's wearing what. Then came the introduction of TikTok, more of the elites and the energies and entities in power trying to keep us in the matrix by introducing us to something that is going to keep us on a lower vibrational level, scrolling on our phones all day, feeding us stuff that is stupid, stuff that is not contributing to helping climate change, that is not ending world hunger, that is not waking anybody up. And if you're a conscious content creator, then you already know this because they'd be shadow banning your stuff because they don't want people to know. But with that came the rise of TikTok influencers and therefore the downward spiral of celebrity. And now people are even fed up with the influencer stuff. So it's like, yeah, sure. It went from one thing to another, but that thing was also due to collapse as well. It's like watching a fire burn. Sometimes the fire gets bigger right before it's about to burn out. And that's what Pluto in Aquarius is going to show us. This is going to be a 15 to 20 year process. This is not going to be a quick awakening for most. For a lot of people, if you're one of the ones, if you know, you know, it will be because you have been getting these internal signs. You have been getting these psychic visions, these feelings, however your abilities come to you. What is changing through your own individual experience, you will be able to see what's going on, see what's going on with the collective. But for a lot of people, this is going to be a slow process. People are feeling into specific things that are associated closely with their hearts. They are feeling that fire, that passion and demanding change in whichever way it is. So it's demanding a better algorithm for their content because they are conscious content creators and they notice their stuff gets shadow banned or it's people demanding radical political change and ceasefire in other places of the world. I know that these two sound very extreme different levels and they are. However, the energy at play here is still the same. We are all demanding change. We are all waking up to the things that no longer serve us. Where we were in a burning tower, we were comfortable with the warmth that the fire was giving us. We were like, okay, I'm choking on smoke here, but at least I'm warm, right? But no, now our lungs have turned black. We are starting to pay the actual consequences of the structures and the belief systems and the thought patterns and the ideologies that we have been living with under. As Earth's vibration rises and we enter new Earth and our own individual vibrations raise. We can feel when things aren't right. We can feel when a celebrity's energy is just off and they're actually being horrible. We can feel when a politician is just straight lying to us. We are feeling the suppression of the systems that we've lived under more than we ever have before. Starting to pay the actual consequences of the structures and the belief systems and the thought patterns and the ideologies that we have been living with under are controlled by these more elite, lower vibrational entities. The matrix, the matrices that we live with in and we are finally breaking out of it. Since Pluto is in the sign of Aquarius, we will see a lot of revolution around the themes that Aquarius rules, such as the internet, AI, and all technology, politics, community, social media, and how our individual contribution affects the collective. As we know, Aquarius is the popular loner. AA, they are energy that is deeply involved with the collective, but is even more deeply involved with the self. Aquarius is able to relate to and understand others because of how well it is connected to self. Because you know, you can only go outward by going inward. If you have ever met an Aquarius or a strong Aquarius placement, you know those are inward. <laughs> Pluto in Aquarius is great. Pluto itself has been tied to a lot of deep historical events. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was during the French Revolution and the beheading of Marie Antoinette, was during the American Revolution and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. It also had strong Pluto presence during the fall of the Roman Empire, as well as the Atomic Age, and we even had Pluto conjunct Saturn in 1945. Do you know what was happening in 1945? The end of World War II. When Pluto is prominent in the sky, the collective knows the gag is up and we are ready for change. We are ready to say enough is enough. We are removing the foot off of our necks that these lower vibrational entities have placed upon us and saying enough is enough. I am reclaiming my power. I am reclaiming truth. I am stepping into authenticity because life is not supposed to be this way. Life is supposed to be a different way. In fact, it's going to be this way. Historically, when Pluto is prominent in the sky, the collective has this awakening of realizing that things can be different. They must be different. Just whatever structures are in place and the ideologies and belief systems that uphold them, the people that uphold them, they are not real. They are not good. They have this power because it is made up because we all collectively believe in it. So Pluto shows the collective through their own individuality, the beliefs that need to change, the thoughts that need to change in order for us to realize these structures that are false, that are made up, that we are all paying into with our own energy that we no longer need to pay into. Pluto gives power back to the collective through awareness. And like I said, I'm sure you've already seen signs, but pay attention to what's happening in society because that's what's happening right now. And it's actually happening so much so that things like the government government are even breadcrumbing us and showing us things, putting it in our faces so that it doesn't seem otherworldly when this information is released, when this darkness comes to light, that we are all just accustomed and attuned to it and don't think twice. For example, how does the government have a whole hearing about aliens and UFOs and no one bats an eyelash? 
no one cares because they're like, yeah, okay. That is not normal. Everything on planet Earth as we know it is about to change. And one interesting way I love to view this is through the pop culture lens, because that's where I am. I am on the internet.com. And it's so interesting to see what influencers or celebrity are rising. And I'm telling you right now, and it's been very prominent through the TikTok age, it's it's regular people. It's it's you and me, right? It's not people like Alex Earl that are being invited to tart trips, people that are already rich that are going to be getting free product to then rub in our face as we're working our nine to five jobs and have to invest and save up for a product. Literally just keeps our eyebrow hair straight. It's not those people anymore that are going to claim more fame. It's people like you and me that are going to be spreading the word, spreading the message of truth, that are living in honesty and authenticity, that want to see each other rise, that know that the way of being on earth, the way that we are supposed to live is a life where we are walking hand in hand, walking each other home, where we remember, oh, I'm gonna cry. We remember our own inner magic and we are helping each other wake up to the fact that there is so much more to life. Working hard at a job that you don't care for to pay bills that aren't going to matter because we have one life on this planet. And this is the time we individually and collectively remember that there is so much more to this, that we came here to leave a footprint, an energetic footprint on this planet to say we were here, to make change for the generations that are here to come so that they are born into truth. They are born into life. Of. They are born into a society that helps them remember the greatness they are and what they have to contribute to this planet, the reason that they incarnated on Earth. They're literally here to just be and experience the magic that is life. After watching this Ram Dass video, I always think about the tune he sings. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And it's so true. It's such a dream. And we are all waking up to that right now. And I'm so happy to be here with you if you're watching this because you're doing it. You are doing that work with me. And I'm so grateful because of the work we're doing, so many more people are not going to have to face the struggles that we did to come to these awarenesses and these belief systems and these thought patterns because it's just gonna be second nature. And that's the goal with all of this. We are in the age of Aquarius. This is when Earth is anchored into her fifth dimensional frequency. This is when the lower vibrational themes that are associated with the 3D, like power, greed, money, jealousy, anger, all of these lower vibrational things, this is when they come to an end. This is when we say enough is enough and there must be a different way. In fact, I know that there is. We are on the front lines of this battlefield, okay? And I'm so honored to be here with you. I have my energetic medal on and I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight for a better existence, a better planet. I'm ready to fight for a different way of life, the way that we're really supposed to be here. And I know that you are too. And it's all starting now. It's been in the process, but we are really going to start seeing the fruits of our labors start to actually blossom and bloom and start picking the cherries we've been growing whatever fruits that you want because we have been putting in the work and even if you haven't been putting in the work you've been putting in the work because you were incarnated during this time for a specific reason just start actually consciously doing the work now this next especially 20 years guys we are about to see a completely different world a beautiful blossoming healthy luscious happy world and I'm so honored and excited to be here with you. I will say the changes that come with Pluto entering Aquarius will heavily affect Capricorn placements. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. All my fellow Capricorn placements out there, congratulations, because we are finally going to get a break. <laughs> Themes that have come up over your life since 2008, the battles that you fought were not for nothing, baby. This is now where you get to kick your feet up. Watch the rewards start to come in for all of the inner and external work that you have done in order to become the person that you are right now. This has not been an easy season for us, okay? Most people don't see a Pluto transit in their entire lifetime. Back the Capricorn placements, especially, are seeing this and having this change within them. You are here for a reason. You are here to break patterns. You are here to end karmic cycles. You are here to make a difference and you're doing it. Now the universe is gonna reward you for it. That being said, the waters are also gonna get a little rough for my Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio placements. Now, rough, doesn't necessarily mean bad. You can have the time of your life going white water rafting in Costa Rica. The water is rough, but you're having a great time. Or you can be in a sailboat with no sail in the middle of the ocean as the waves are 20 feet high. Water is rough and that is not so fun. Pluto is entering Aquarius, which means it's directly gonna affect Aquarius placements, but also sister sign Leo placements. And Pluto is ruled by Scorpio, which means that Scorpio placements naturally are going to be affected as well as sister sign Taurus placements. So like I said, the waters will be rough. It doesn't mean good or bad. It just means you're moving. <laughs> It is just enforcing change and it doesn't matter what that looks like. It doesn't matter if it's pretty, ugly, good or bad. It doesn't see things as dualistic. It doesn't place judgment on change. It just forces change in order for our evolution. In order to evolve, we have to get uncomfortable. So yeah, it's gonna be ugly sometimes. It's gonna be painful. It's gonna suck. 
like I said, the waters are gonna be rough. You might find yourself some days in the sailboat in the middle of the ocean with no gun sail, waves that are 80 feet tall, being like, literally, how am I gonna survive this? Just know, with a little perspective shift, as Pluto rules the psyche, when we start working on our mind, we have the power, Pluto rules hidden power, we have that hidden power deep within our psyche, within ourselves, within our hearts, to change our perspective, to change our mindset. The view of being in the sailboat in the middle of the ocean with no sail and 80 foot waves as white water rafting in Costa Rica and having a blast. Easier said than done. I know. However, possible. Just a matter of how much work do you want to put into it. And I'm telling you, the more work you put into changing, the more reward you're going to see and the faster your ascension process will be. Remember, fortune favors the bold and so does Pluto and Aquarius. If you want to start tapping into the energy of Pluto and Aquarius, really focus on where it is your heart wants to bring you. What job do you see yourself having where you are truly happy every second of the day, where it fills your cup, where you want to go to work, where you want to do more work because it is making your soul light up? skills and talents do you have that can contribute to the collective that can help other people heal or come into their own new awarenesses and ideologies? How is it that your unique expression can contribute to the ascension of planet Earth? Remember when the internal changes, the external reflects this. The best way to help Earth and everybody on it is by helping yourself first. Remember, Aquarius is the popular loner. They know so much about everybody else because it knows a whole lot about itself. And whatever your contribution, know that it is powerful, it is multidimensional, it is multifaceted, it is transformative, and it is helping the planet. It might not seem like it. It might seem really far away from that, but I promise you every decision that you make to change your thought patterns, your belief systems, anchor yourself in a new higher vibration. It's planting higher vibrational positive energy in Earth's crystalline grid system that everybody on planet Earth is able to access. So think about yourself, obviously, and focus on your own growth, but also think about the people that need you. We need you. I need you. Earth needs you. Heal yourself, heal the Earth. It's time to do this consciously. It's the age of Aquarius. It's Pluto in Aquarius. Thank you so much for listening to me and choosing me to be your conduit of spirit as we talk about Pluto and Aquarius and the energy that this brings forward for the collective. I would love to know how you're experiencing this shift and whether or not you have prominent Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio placements and how you are experiencing this. Let's talk about your experiences below and also make some predictions if you feel called. Where do you see society going? What changes do you think that we're going to start demanding and do you think that the systems in play and the structures in play are going to respond? How do you think they'll respond? In true Aquarius community fashion, let's talk about it down below in the comments. Once again, thank you for being here with me and allowing me to be your conduit of spirit. Remember, I am simply a mirror for things that you already know, otherwise this information would not feel resonant with you. You're all waking up to the remembrance of who we are, what we came here to do, and we are walking each other home in the meantime. So hold my hand and let's go on this journey together. Don't press that subscribe button, join our world community where we talk about all things cosmic and consciousness. Happy Pluto and Aquarius, and I really hope you take the opportunity to harness everything that is thrown at you in order to reclaim your own power, stand further in your truth, in your honesty, in your authenticity, and remember why you were born here to fulfill out your life purpose. I send you all of my love and light. And so it is. Oh, oh, oh.